welcome back to a parts factory installation tutorial video. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Holden Commodore. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be changing the master control switch. Super common problem. Few different reasons they break. Poor quality being number one. And secondly, as they are in the center console just there, uh, people spill their drink onto them, screw out the wiring, blow the fuse in the car, whatever. I, I, I'm not sure, but all of my job here today is to show you how to replace that switch. Super, super straightforward, kind of, other than the fact that sometimes the trim around the switch can break. So we're gonna have to be real gentle with a tool such as this one. Uh, this is uh, metal, but if you do have a plastic pry tool, that's the best way to get this job done without breaking that trim. But the trim is available on eBay for about 30 bucks. So worst case scenario, you might be buying a trim as well, but we'll see how we go. Guys, just before we do get started, two things I gotta tell you. One, we have this switch available on our website. I'm just gonna jump to the conclusion. The link is in the bio. If you need it, click it. I'll send it to you, free express post. You're gonna get it in a day. I think it's $63.30, so don't go genuine. That would be crazy. Two, big shout out to Southport Wreckers. They have allowed us to use over a thousand cars. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If you have a look that direction, we have the privilege of using all these cars for our installation tutorial videos. So absolutely massive shout out. Southport Wreckers, if you need used engines, make sure to check uh, the link out in the bio. They obviously have every engine available at your disposal and we'll send it anywhere in Australia as well. So definitely check that out. Here's my buddy. <laughs> need an engine? <laughs> need a for an Echo. An Echo gear. All right, well, um, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Right, so this here is the switch I was talking about. Um, this is a four button type. In the Utes, there's two button types, but that's not even relevant. All right, so let's just get this trim off. To do that, the best way to do it is to cruise on here on the side. Hope to God that it's not brittle and it doesn't just snap. You can do the same thing here and you just pop it up and again, cross your fingers Look at that, it is seemingly coming up, which is good. Now, we're gonna come forward. Same thing down this end. Hopefully we can just pop it up. Yep, that one's come as well. And we've got it over here. Look at that, we're getting lucky today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so we got that one here, let's come even further forward. Might get a little bit more delicate down this end, I reckon. No, look at that. Well done. Don't rush, take it, take your time. Because look at that. Patience has paid off today. Alright, so you want to wiggle the whole unit up into the air. And then you want to let's see if we can put that in neutral and we can pull that up. And then I can access these plugs. You'll see what I mean when you're on your end. But essentially you can just depress plug hopefully with your same little plastic pry tool and hopefully the plug will come out yep there's one and then you got one and two and that's it you can rotate the whole unit over you can see the plugs I was talking about one and two and then of course once they're out we're just gonna pull this switch out of this bevel here um, to do that the easiest way is looking like these gray plugs here, uh, these gray clips rather, you can just put your little tool in there. A little, probably for me, a thinner flat head would do the trick, but I'm in the middle of a farm, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. Guys, if, you, um, if your VE is in immaculate condition, stick a rag down here while you're working. Yeah, so as I was showing, all I ended up doing was prying up these ones and prying up these top one, and then the whole thing just came out, so. Don't stress out, it's actually pretty easy. Um, but as you can imagine, you got your old one out. We need to replace it with a new one. There's nothing wrong with this switch and this car is busted up as you can see anyway. So I'm gonna be putting this one back in and lucky for us, putting it in literally takes two seconds and you can rotate your bevel over. Hopefully you haven't done any damage to it. Remember, we gotta plug our plugs back in, which as you can imagine is much easier than getting them out. Um, same thing here, plug back in, then you bring your bevel over, 
we'll do the same order of operations front first lining it all up press it in one and two press it in three four and of course the two at the back line them up hopefully everything's going to go smoothly here um yeah they do look like they just need to be pressed in and that's it guys it's actually pretty easy to change the uh, master switch in a ve other than our brittle little trim uh guys if you have appreciated this video give us a thumbs up and if you can subscribe to the channel you never know when you're going to need some more tutorials like this um you know if you're doing your own work on your own cars etc etc might come in handy in the future righty guys my name's lucas thanks for watching and i'll see you next time